Hi everyone, welcome to Juno Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to add the Korean keyboard on iPad or iPhone. Fastest way to do this is to force touch on your emoji key and go to keyboard settings. If force touch is not your thing, you can go to settings, go down to general, and then go down to keyboard. From here, you want to click the keyboard on top, and then click add new keyboard, and then go down to add language. I have Korean as suggested keyboard because I've added it before, but you can add any language from here. Anyways, I'm adding Korean in my case, so I'm gonna add Korean and then standard. Now I have three keyboards enabled. So if I go to notes app, there's a globe icon which I can toggle keyboards from English, emoji, Korean, English, emoji, Korean. I don't know about you, but I don't use emoji that much and I don't like having to tap twice to change languages from Korean and English back and forth. So I'm going to disable emoji in my case. So I'm going back to keyboard settings and click edit and then remove emoji. You can also just swipe emoji to left and delete. Now I can toggle two languages by tapping globe icon only once. I can finally text in my mother tongue, which is Konglish, and I found inner peace. If you are one of those gifted persons that writes three or more languages, I highly recommend using force touch option rather than toggling between languages. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later with another device.